I felt like I was uh, in a fog and uh, I couldn't collect my thoughts. I would skip out on, on my son's soccer games or, or events that you know we, we used to do as a family and uh, I didn't want to participate in life. I've done five combat tours, uh, three in Iraq and two in Afghanistan. I had experienced three explosions, uh, uh, IEDs. One was uh, very severe. You, you don't have time to, to sit and wonder what the hell just happened. You got a month left in theater. My focus was hey, turning over to the next group coming in and getting home alive. When I got home, uh, things weren't right. I'd act ridiculous you know, to my wife and kids and say some awful things, and things I wish I could take back. I had all my arms and limbs, uh, uh, you know, I had all my arms and legs. And just I uh, felt like, uh, you know, it's, it's not me, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I think one of the tipping points for me was uh, we'd gotten into an argument about pizza topping. I put up such a fuss and a, and a fight. Uh, I looked over and my then four-year-old was covering his ears. That's when I realized that, hey, I, I need to get some help. There's a line in the Marine's prayer, uh, if I should miss a mark, give me courage to try again. The National Intrepid Center of Excellence uh, uh, gave me the courage to, to, to hit that mark again. You find that you're not the only one who, who had these problems. It's not your fault. It's, it's uh, you know, your bell was rung and you need some rewiring. Traumatic brain injuries are the signature wound for Iraq and Afghanistan. Right now, there's only one active National Intrepid Center of Excellence uh, for traumatic brain injuries, and, and only 120 service members can go through each year.